Good day to all of you. Welcome to EC Physics. Learn physics as easy as one to three. Through this channel, we used to discuss the physics topics as well as some math tricks so that your problem solving in physics becomes easier, right? In today's video, I'm going to discuss an easy math tricks through which you will be able to find out the answer of any number divide with nine. You can find out the quotient and remainder in a very easy and quicker way. And I'm sure after watching this video, this is going to be a homework question. And after watching this video, you all will be able to find out the answer quotient and the remainder of this such a long digit in three seconds or less than three seconds. Let's start doing with a small number. See, if I ask you to find out the quotient and remainder of this 32 divided with nine, how you normally do in a traditional way, that is you have to write 32 over here and nine here. Then you have to think about the multiplication table of nine. And then you come to know that three nines are 27. Then you have to subtract 32 minus 27 is going to be five. Then you will write three as the quotient and five as the remainder. But you don't have to do all these written work once you know the easy technique. It is to write the quotient, write the first digit of your question. To get the remainder, add the first and second digit, it's five. Easy and quick, right? So division with nine is no longer going to be time consuming after learning this technique. Let's see whether this technique can be applied to bigger numbers like this, 421 divided by nine. First step always has to be write the number with little bit of spacing between the digits. Write the first number as it is four. Last number of your answer is going to be always the remainder, okay? Then to get the succeeding numbers, you have to keep adding the previous digits. That is first digit is four because there is no previous digit for four, right? Then to get the next number, you have to add four plus two, it's six. To get the next number, add six and one, it's seven. As I told you, the last digit will be always the remainder and whatever number of digits are coming before it, it will be the quotient. So here the quotient is going to be 46 and the remainder is going to be seven. Let's try with another number, 1204. What you have to do is one, two, zero and four. First, write one. Then add one and two, you'll get three. Add three and zero, you'll get further three. Add three and four, you'll get seven. So your quotient is 133 and the remainder is seven. So this is your quotient and this is your remainder. You're not taking much time, right? And please do practice with more number of questions and check with your calculator whether you're getting the correct answer or not. I'll show you one another example, four, six, zero, one and three it's going to be a big number right so first digit is going to be four and when you add four and six you will get what you're going to get ten so you can't write ten as it is so what you have to do is write zero here and one as a carry then when you add the next two digits it's not going to be zero plus zero it's going to be ten plus zero okay please keep that in mind because the second digit you got is ten right so 10 plus zero is again going to be 10. So write one as a carry. 10 plus one is going to be 11. So one here and one as a carry. 11 plus three is going to be 14. And the last number you should write as it is, not as a carry. <clears throat> to get the quotient, add all these things together. So it becomes five, one, one, one. So your quotient is going to be 5,111. Whereas your remainder is going to be 14. See, if you multiply 5,111 with 9 and then add 14 to it, you are definitely going to get the answer as 46,013. But there is some logical problem in this answer, right? Remainder cannot be greater than 9. So what you have to do is, from the remainder, subtract 1, 9. 14 minus 9 is going to be 5 right? So how many nines you have subtracted? Only one nine. So add that one to the quotient. So your 
exact answer is going to be quotient is 5112 and the remainder is going to be 5. This is the more accurate and correct way of writing the answer. Hope it is clear. When the remainder is greater than 9, you have to subtract 9 from this. And how many 9s you are subtracting? That number you add with the quotient. We'll do one another example with the same concept so that I hope you will become more clearer and you will earn more speed. <clears throat> 4, 2, 0, 3 and 4. Divide with 9 means first you write the number 4 as it is. Then 4 plus 2 is going to be 6. 6 plus 0 is going to be further 6. 6 plus 3 is going to be 9. 9 plus 4 is going to be 13. So here what you should do is 13 is something greater than 9, right? So subtract 9 from the number 13. 13 minus 9 is nothing but 4, right? So you have subtracted 1 9 from the remainder, which means you have to add 1 to it. So this becomes 4,670. 69 plus 1 is 70, right? So your quotient will be 4,670, whereas your remainder is going to be 4. Okay? You want to have one more question to solve? I will show you even a bigger number. 8, 7, 9, 2, 3, 4. You have, what you should do is 8, 7, 9, 2, 3, and 4, right? with a little bit of space in between the digits, write the first number as 8. 8 plus 7 is going to be 15, right? So write 5 here and 1 here. Then you should add 15 and 9. It's not going to be 5 plus 9. You have to add 15 plus 9. 15 plus 9 is 24. So write here as 2. The next digit is going to be 24 plus 2. Is how much? 26. So write a 2 here. 26 plus 3 is going to be 29. So write 9 here and 2 here. 29 plus 4 is going to be 33. That is your last number. So you should write that as the quotient. First, you add all these things together. 9, 6 plus 2 is 8. 4 plus 2 is 6. 5 plus 2 is 7. And 8 plus 1 is 9. Look at the number 33. For that also... Uh, you have to subtract how many nines as possible. So there you can further use this technique. 33 means first two digit you have to write as it is. And the quotient, remainder is going to be 3 plus 3, 6. So you have subtracted three nines, right? So add 3 over here. 9 plus 3 is 12. Remaining 1. 1 plus 8 is 9. Then 6, 7, 9. So this is, your, this is going to be the quotient of your answer. 97692 and the remainder is going to be 6. You got it here, right? So in order to find out 33 quotient and remainder, again, I have used the same technique. You don't have to worry that you again have to do it. The same technique can be applied. Hope it is very clear. Please take some bigger numbers and do self-practice. Check your answer with the calculator, whether you're getting it correct or not. Do with more numbers and increase your speed. And after that, come back to the homework question. Do it and find out the quotient and the remainder. If you are able to find out the answer in three seconds or less than three seconds, then please do comment your answers. Before doing the homework, I think you may have to have a little bit of practice with some numbers of your choice. Do it. Try with calculator. Check your answer with the calculator. Try without calculator and check your answer with the calculator and gain confidence, increase the speed. If you're able to find the answer of this question in three seconds or less than three seconds, please do comment me so that I can come to know that how many of you have really understood this technique and ready to use this technique in further problem solving. Thank you for watching. Have a great day ahead to all of you.